let the peace, love and blessings of Jehovah God and his Christ be upon the entire world in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. From democracy to theocracy. Everlasting God will deliver to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Matthew chapter 8, verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Second lesson, St. Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Golden text, St. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Faith can move mountains. Quote. The above text form the summary of our lesson in this gospel. They also form the glad tidings of great joy for the whole world. This call has been extended to the poor, the hungry, the faithless, the unbelievers, the weak and the hopeless for salvation. Equally covered in this same salvation are the wicked, idolaters, revilers, the oppressed, and those who have lost every hope. Whatever the nature of your problems, once you receive this gospel and believe it, all the problems are over. The only condition is for you to believe and the problems are instantly solved. It is not a matter of trying. Believe convincingly in the Father and He will prove to you that He is capable of solving all your problems. You have to believe as did the centurion. Salvation is not a matter of seeing before believing. It is a matter of faith. There is no need for anyone to want to come to 24 Amber Street to see the Father, to have audience with Him. Offer him to place his hands on one's head and pray. Stay where you are, whether in your house or inside a hole, and you will feel his impact if you believe. Whatever medium this gospel comes through to you, believe and all your problems will be solved. It is the spirit that works, therefore, any person that read this gospel and believe fervently in him is saved. Let all the afflicted gather around, gather around their television sets with fervent belief that once they listen to the voice of the Father or imagine, look at the red garment, whatever problem, whether it is poverty, illness, barrenness, persecution, court cases, or any problem will be solved instantly. Those in the television crew who work faithfully for the proper dissemination of his gospel are abundantly blessed. Spiritual Chorus Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Whosoever commit to him shall never die. Therefore, beloved, the statement of the centurion serves as a lesson for me, for you, and for the whole world, especially this dispensation, when it is the word that works. The centurion did not want Christ to come under his roof, but that he should speak only the word and his servant would be healed. The response of the centurion was a clear demonstration of unshakable faith in God. This explains how unfathomable the love of God is. 
the Gospels here are being publicized so that all the inhabitants of the world would have access to it, especially those who in one way or the other could not come out openly to embrace this truth. They also may avail themselves the opportunity of hearing the gospel of redemption from the television, radio, or read it in print. Some people are afraid of being excommunicated from their churches. Others have little or no resting time due to the nature of their works. Such people should avail themselves of these gospels in print, in cassette or radio during Brotherhood Half Hour program. People who come in from distant places testify of the lavish presence of the Holy Father there than here in Calabar. Many of you here continue to doubt such stories. Why do you doubt? Do not consult a necromancer. Tears rolled down my cheeks when a certain brother testified here that he consulted a necromancer and paid him a sum of 50,000 naira in cash for his service, but yet no solution was found. Why should anybody consult a necromancer, a magician, a seer? Your father is alive. God and his Christ is on earth and living with man. How can a father be present in the arena and allow the masquerade to whip his child? Learn a lesson from the centurion and grow like him in faith. The centurion was invariably prophesying. Our Lord Jesus Christ had said that a time cometh when he shall reign in the entire world. Now is the time which Jehovah God and his Christ had promised to govern and reign. Our Lord Jesus Christ spoke to the, to the Samaritan woman saying, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when he shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. Matt, John chapter 4 verses 21 to 22. This is the time. Believe in him fervently. Committing yourself as being unworthy. And surely his salvation will be sufficient unto you. There is no need for anyone to consult any necromancer, soothsayer, prayer house, healing home, hospital or any such places. Rather, all these persons and places should come to the Father for their salvation. Your problem is no faithlessness. The words spoken by Paul have fulfilled this day because he confessed that he was once a blasphemer and a prosecutor and a persecutor of Christ when he was yet to be called. But he obtained grace from the Lord, which is an indication that Jesus Christ came for sinners of whom he, Paul, was a leader. In Matthew, in Timothy, in 1 Timothy chapter 1, Verses 12 to 20, we read, And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who hath enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer, a persecutor, and injurious. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Albeit for this cause I obtained mercy that in me first 
Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare, holding faith and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck, of whom his Hymenius and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. The world vilified brother out of the cross and star, calling us various names, ranging from vampire organizations, worshippers of mammon, a group of infidels and antichrist. But today the truth about brotherhood is known because it is the only source of salvation. God himself, being all-knowing and powerful, has known the rebellious nature of man towards truth. Because of that, he had programmed everything so well for this end of time. All we need to do now is to believe in him for our salvation. Pentecostal centers in Brotherhood have, for instance, been decentralized so that people could be privileged to attend service without any constraint. Otherwise, how many people would have had the money to pay their way to Calabar from far and near? The truth is now out and in people's homes. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not hide his resentment when he told Thomas that blessed is he who does not see but yet believes. People should disabuse their minds from wanting to see the Father or having audience with him before believing in him. It was said by the prophets that in his name shall the Gentiles trust. We should now bid farewell to every form of medication and diabolism because such are the works of darkness and faithlessness. Whosoever believes in him does not even need to pray. What do you pray for? He made it clear when he said that if we could have the smallest faith as tiny as the mustard seed, we would command the sycamore tree to depart from its original place to another place, and it would happen. The Pharisees asked Christ to tell them when the kingdom of God would come. He told them that the kingdom of God is not by observation. He made it clear that the kingdom of God is within man. The people of old did not have this kind of privilege, hence Christ had to move from one place to another. If the Holy Spirit were to work in that manner in this generation, using all the available and fastest transportation systems, how many cities or villages would have covered in order to disseminate the truth to the inhabitants of the earth? If human beings have hard to develop and grow, how much more God? Take for instance the weapons used during the First World War, 1914. Those weapons were worked on and modernized by the World War II which took place in 1939. The weapons have today been modernized with a lot of sophistication. If man who is given limited knowledge 
and ability could do this, then how much more God who is all knowing and all powerful? He has come now with great power and inexhaustible wisdom. This explains why I tell you that brotherhood is not a church denomination, is not a prayer house or a healing home. Brotherhood of the cross and star is the kingdom of God in where Jehovah God and his Christ reign supreme. Therefore, you do not have to go from place to place searching for him. He is there with you. You do not also need to speak for someone to pray for you. You do not also need to seek for someone to pray for you. He is right inside you and you only need to believe in him and all your problems will be solved. There is nothing that exists in this world without his design. Everything is according to his design and they had all been prophesied long ago. A local adage has it that when God causes rashes, he also provides the fingernails with which to scratch it. In other words, for every human problem, there is a divine solution. It is said that temptation shall come, but that God will provide a way out for all those that believe in him. God cannot allow you to be tempted beyond the level of your faith in him. No person should think that he is alone or feel insecure and thereby resort to seek for protection in India or any other part of the world. For God is living in you. Testimonies abound about the presence of the Father and his mighty works all over the world. What else do you want God to do before you believe that he abides with you and, he, and you in him? Our duty, therefore, is to cast all our problems to him, believing faithfully in him, that he is with us. There is no need to, there is no need to, to lament, cry, or feel miserable in any way. Do not attempt to help yourself in any way. Believe in him alone, and all your problems will be solved. This gospel is given to strengthen your faith in God. No more war. All those who had nursed the belief or are believing that there will be war in Nigeria should disabuse their minds. God has come down now to take over all affairs in Nigeria and in the whole world. It is said that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ. This has materialized now, not only in Nigeria or Africa, but also in the whole world. Nobody now has power to do what pleases him. Everybody has to work and according to God's dictates. This guide will then unite all the inhabitants of the world. One people, one language, one market, one currency, and economy, and one government. Before the physical advent of our Lord Jesus Christ on earth, man was in disharmony with God. That was why Christ came as the mediator between man and God, using his blood as supreme sacrifice. The Father has come now by himself and man has no problem but to believe in him. The Father is here, the Son is here, and the Holy Spirit is here also with the heavenly host. Nobody should therefore lament about any problem, whether in his house, in his village, 
in his state or nation. Is, is, is God not the owner of your house, your village, your state, and nation? God is now shining like the morning star. He is everywhere. He is with you at all times and sees and knows everything. May we have the first lesson read again.